My first book to my new pen name is now up. And it's time for that Amazon author's page. If you don't have one, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Hi, I'm Monique, self-published indie author, here to share with you the ins and outs of self-publishing. If this is your first time here, then please go ahead, click that notification, and don't forget to ring that bell so that you know exactly when I upload my weekly video. If you're going to publish on Amazon, then having your own author's page is important. And not only that, it's free. For each account, you can have up to three names. So I'm about to go ahead and add the third one to my account. Not only are your books showcased, but people will also know about you. They'll see your blogs and any videos that you might have. So let me go ahead and jump right to it. Here is my author's page for my own name, as well as the picture that is shown. So, right here at the drop down, it says pen names, and you can see here's one, and I'm going to add a new pen name. Now, why didn't I do this before? Well, you got to have a book on Amazon first, and now I do. So the first thing I have to search for is the book. And it goes by title, ISPN, or author. So let's see if it comes up by author. And there it goes. Wow, I showed it over and over and over. But it's only one book. This is not me, of course, but this is the book I have out right now. This one is on pre-order. Add this book. And it is my pen name, so claim, continue, add pen name. Okay, and as you see, it says once approved, you'll be able to see and manage your pin name. Okay. Now, let's go to you can see it says they are reviewing the request. And I'm going to go ahead and add a picture as well as the biography while I am waiting. Picture is up. Here we go. Now let's throw up a biography real quick. Here is where you would add your bio. It should be under a thousand characters. And later on, if you make any updates, it could take one to two days for it to show up. So my language is English. And let me copy and paste my bio. Let's hope this is not too long. No, it's not. So it's preview. That's publish. Okay. You can also add a blog. 
and these are the blogs for my other names so this one has its own blog with this being a new feed it won't show any past posts but I have one coming up soon and that one will be the first one to show and for photos and videos I actually have video for the first book as well as the second book so I'll go ahead and upload those That was a long time. That was the first one. Now let's try the second one. Hmm. It says something went wrong. I guess I'll have to try again. I'll try to refresh this page and see what happens. Well, it seems like it doesn't want to let me upload that second video. So let's take a peek at the Amazon page itself. Wow, there it goes, right there. And at the moment, it's only in Kindle and paperback. I'm in the middle of doing the audio right now. So there goes my picture, there goes my first book, and if I want to, I can click follow, but sometimes I feel that's a little vain to follow myself. Okay, let me go back and see if I can get my pre-order book to pop up also. Let me click on view all books, add a book, and it's easy just to put in my name. And yeah, I'm not working with caps today. And let's add that book. Okay, now it might take some time, but I'm going to check anyway and see if it pops up because right here it's still just showing one and any books that is added, it would show here. I think it usually shows like three books. So let me wait a moment. You won't wait. I will wait. I'll just go ahead and refresh the page and we shall see if it pops up. As you can see, I'm still getting this error message with those two videos that I uploaded. I'll have to go back and double check it, but I'm quite sure eventually it will pop up. In the meantime, Let's see if that second book popped up. And it did. This one is up now. This is now a pre-order. And if you didn't know, there are other things that you can do with Amazon Author Central. You know, they have the profile, which, yeah, that's still there. It will show the books that you have, and as I add more books, 
I will just hit add a book. I have a, another pre-order that will be up in about a month. That book will come out in May. I'm trying to stay two to three months ahead of my pre-orders. I don't want to go all the way out to the end of the year, just two or three months. And for the reports and marketing, you can check the sales ranks of your book. Uh, you can do the report with BookScan, as it says US only, customer reviews, and marketing with Kindle Unlimited, which I do not use. My books are wide. I actually thought about doing Kindle Unlimited with the next pre-order I do. I haven't decided yet. I have another month to make up my mind. Now, with the sales rank, anytime you want to check the sales rank of your book, this is where you should do it. Do not go to your Amazon page of your book. Don't do it because it hurts you. Go here and here alone. And that was something that I learned myself from Dale L. Roberts of self-publishing with Dale. Because in the beginning, yes, I was always checking my book rank. And you don't have to do it that way. You can do it without hurting yourself. And that's how easy it is to create your own Amazon Author Central account doesn't take that long. All you need is one book, whether it is as a pre-order or already published. You can go ahead and open your account. I'm still waiting for the email from Amazon, but I bet you if I click on it right now, it's already up. Hit go. And there it is. And not only that, both videos are now up. All it took was a little bit of time. And this page is ready to go. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you know anybody that this could help, send them on over. They will be glad you did. And until next time, I'll see you later.